Governor Tony Evers focusing on several key issues in a state of the state address tonight. He spoke about PFAS chemicals, mental health, reproductive health care, but focused largely on Wisconsin's generational workforce challenges. Evers says he wants to build a new age workforce prepared to meet the needs in the new year. He announced the launch of the state's first teacher apprenticeship program and the establishment of the Office of Employee Engagement and Retention for Wisconsin. The new office will focus on several initiatives, including employee retention and professional development. The governor also mentioned a task force on health care workforce, which will study how to combat recruitment and retention challenges in the industry. Those problems just part of why he's calling 2024 the year of the worker. We are working in earnest to reduce barriers to employment so we can try to make sure every available worker can join our workforce. I directed over $150 million to find innovative long-term solutions to our workforce challenges, subsidize employment and skills training with local employers, and support Wisconsinites working to re-engage in our workforce. Every lawmakers on both sides of the aisle had plenty to say afterwards. Jason Zimmerman was on the assembly floor for the speech and has reaction. Some Republicans occasionally clapped during the governor's state of the state address, but much of the cheering came from Democrats, once again highlighting the partisan divide at the state capitol. The Honorable Tony Evers! As soon as Governor Evers entered the chambers of the assembly, he made it clear Wisconsin has a lot to celebrate. Wisconsin has never been in a better fiscal position. Even though many Republicans say they deserve the credit. All these surpluses and the programs being all funded and everything being squared away and fiscally sound is something Republicans came up with after rejecting the Evers proposal. So I don't know exactly what he's trying to tout except vote Republican. Others like State Representative Christina Shelton agree with the governor and the need for initiatives to stop the so-called brain drain. We have a real crisis here, and the governor has put forward a plan. He talked about it tonight. Republicans continue to fail to bring that plan to the, to, to the floor and to really have an honest conversation about how we meet those challenges. We know that parents want to work. Families are working incredibly hard, but they have to have access to affordable and accessible child care. Republicans say the answer to workforce development is providing income tax relief. My biggest disappointment is that with a, a record surplus in the till, uh, we didn't hear him mention a single thing about giving relief back to the average taxpayer. The governor during the address also took a few jabs at Republicans for blocking many of his past initiatives. Obviously, you know, we're a divided government. We have a Democratic governor. And some of the frustration of some of the things that he's tried to move forward for the betterment of the state, not moving forward because of Republicans, kind of fair that he's going to take a few of those jabs tonight. Lawmakers will be in session another six weeks, and there's no doubt after that much of the focus will be on the upcoming November election. Reporting in Madison, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.